the total number of units that goes from A to 1, 2, and 3, respectively. So returning to the demand side, we have the total number of units going to 1 from A, B, and C. Then we repeat the same for uh, destination 2. So the number of units going from A to 2 plus the number of units going from B to 2 plus the number of units that goes from C to 2 should be 175. And the third one I will wait for you to do as an exercise, which is the number of units that goes from 3, sorry, that goes from A, B, and C. And finally, we have our non-negativity constraints, which is always going to be x i comma j greater than or equal to zero. And what this means is that when you you can replace i, like I said, with a b or c, and you can replace j with one, two, or three. And what it tells us is that the number of units that goes from a b and c to one, two, and three. It's either zero, so we don't send any at all, or it's greater than zero, which means that it's positive. So this allows the non-negativity constraint restricts the number of units that we can transport to be either no unit at all, which is zero, or positive numbers, because we know we can't transport negative number of items. Now, if this model was a, a an unbalanced mo model, then the way we represent that is the equality sign will be changed into an inequality sign, which is the less than or equal to sign. And the way it works is that whichever of the demand or the supply is greater, that's the one that gets this inequality side because that is the one that will not completely be satisfied. So as an example, if the supply here was 200 instead of 100, then our supply will be greater than our demand. So for all of our supply constraints, we will have to put less than or equal to less than or equal to, because we would not be using up all of our supply. Uh, if, on the other hand, it is the demand that is greater instead, then we will put the inequality, we will put the less than or equal to sign uh, on the demand constraints instead. So, thank you guys for listening, and in the next video, we'll be looking at the transshipment.